What is up guys, this is Zach from Anglers Escape and today I'm on Grand Lake in Oklahoma and I'm at a friend's lake house and we're going to be doing some bow fishing. So me and my friend looked up some recipes for buffalo fish which is what we're going after and as to not waste the fish we're going to try to cook up some buffalo ribs. We have no idea if this is going to turn out good but we're going to try it nonetheless. I got this bow last Christmas for about 140 online, unfortunately it doesn't have a reel but it should work nonetheless and I hope you enjoy these clips and thanks for watching. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, you got him, or I got him. All right, guys, we got one. Please tell me this is recording. This is our second fish, is it red? Yep, yes, recording. we got one. He's shooting around, let's hope we don't lose him. It's a nice buffalo. Don't know if I want to pull, I don't know how good that's in, but there's another one right there. Let me see if I can just pull him aboard. He's stuck pretty good. That was a good, clean hit. Oh, this is a lunker. It's a nice fish, guys. Woo! There we go. Good fish. We're gonna make some buffalo carp ribs. He looks like a smallmouth buffalo. His mouth's a little smaller. But a uh, beautiful fish. Let's see if we can't get some more later. All right guys, we got two nice buffalo fish. Hopefully we'll get some more later today, but we're just fishing, boat fishing off this dock. A lot of buffalo fish on Grand Lake. There's a lot of guides out there, but we're gonna go ahead and try some buffalo ribs today. I've seen recipes online, haven't seen any videos on it, so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how it turns out. We'll go ahead and cook these guys up and tell you how they taste. Here's the catch. We got two nice sized buffalo. Here's Shane, the grill master. We're about to cook up the buffalo we just caught right over here. We went ahead, de-skilled them, took off the fins, gutted them, and we're just gonna go ahead, splay them open, and then throw them on the grill. We even got some hickory in there, so hopefully they turn out good, and we'll tell you how they taste. Here we are, grilling the steaks. We got two big old buffalo carp steaks on there. Gonna have some buffalo ribs. No idea how this is gonna turn out, but hopefully it turns out good. All right guys, so the coals have been going for about 10 minutes. We just flipped it after 10 minutes and it's been about another five minutes. So 15 minutes total. They're just about there. You can see the two steaks. And we're gonna go ahead, we went ahead, scaled them, took out the insides, cut off the fence, but it looks like it's really good. It's about done. And as soon as we take a fork and it flakes real easy, that's when you know it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and take these, these huge fish fillets and go ahead and try them and see how they taste. All right guys, so you know the fish is done when it flakes real easy, so you can take a fork and see how that just flakes real nicely and it's not rubbery at all. That's done. I'm just going to finish off the other side and we're going to go ahead and take it off the grill and try it. All right guys, it's been on for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take it off. We flipped it after 10 minutes and we just used a fork on it as you guys saw. It flaked real easy. So let's go ahead and get this nice slab of meat off. All right, I'll go ahead and try a piece, guys. It looks decent. It's flaking pretty easy, so we know it's done. I don't know. In my opinion, it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Probably because we didn't add enough seasoning. But it does taste like fish, and I don't think it tastes bad, nor does it taste that great. Overall, you can definitely eat buffalo fish, and I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, he's still there, he's still there. Okay. 